Hello everyone, and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with keyboard events, alright? Uh, so, we're actually going to be mainly focusing on key down event, which is a built-in event in Roblox's game engine, uh, which allows us to realize and control what happens when a player presses just about any key on their keyboard, okay? So, Another thing I want to tell you guys is this can only be done with a local script, which is why last tutorial was about a local script, okay? Now, in start in our storage UI, let's go to our local script. And uh, we can actually remove this entire loop. It's useless to us now. Now, we're going to actually have to make a va variable, sorry, variable of the mouse. Now, when I say mouse, you guys are probably getting confused. Let me explain. The keyboard events are built into the mouse, which are the mouse is an object built into the player, which can only be accessed from a local script within a Rolex game. But mouse is a very misleading name. Very misleading. Okay? Now, when you hear mouse, you think, oh, this thing. Sorry for blinding you guys there with the infrared, but you know what? You don't need to see anything anyway. But this mouse, you think of a mouse, right? Okay, so if you think of a mouse, when you use a mouse, you, you're you not thinking of keyboard. When I say mouse in Roblox, okay, right now when I say mouse, there's a lot of times when I say mouse and I do mean this. but. Right now, when I'm saying mouse, I'm talking about mouse, and I can't really lift my keyboard since it's attached to my screen, which my webcam is attached to that, but also the keyboard, okay? It takes in keyboard input and mouse input. So we're just going to make one variable here, we're going to call it mouse, you can name it whatever you want, you can name it input, you can name it keyboard, you can name it anything you want because it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, but I'm naming it mouse equals game that players that local player there's that local player again get mouse get mouse is a built-in function in Roblox like I had said and it gets the mouse which can be used for both the mouse and the keyboard okay and now there's an event that I told you guys about called the key down event so we're going to use a mouse that key down connect function key end. Now you guys should notice I'm adding a parameter into our function which is handling the event. So we can actually call this function our handler, okay? So and no not a CIA handler. And even though I think you're in the CIA. You might be. But eh, not gonna call you. But it's a handler for the event, an event handler. It handles what happens when the event fires, okay? So, function key. Now, the key, it doesn't unlock a door. It doesn't do anything else a key would. It's not a key code. It's a key as in a key on your keyboard, okay? That's what I'm naming. You can name that parameter anything you want as well. But what it does is when key down is called and it passes and it calls the handler because the event fires, it passes to the handler what key has been pressed. Okay? And that key is actually just a character, an A S C I I character. Go to Wikipedia if you need help on what numbers for which characters. And uh, it's an AC or ASCII, -I, as I said, character, and it's just one character. Strings hold several characters, but characters hold one character because that's what they are. Okay. So mouse that key down connect function key. Now we know which key it is, and for this tutorial, for sake of keeping it short, because we're already coming close to five minutes, uh, we'll just print key. Now close the local script and hit F6. Wait for the magic. 
Alrighty, it loaded. So now, um, we're going to actually get this to work. I haven't touched a single key yet, so watch the output. Actually, the output should be right here, somewhere above me. Uh, I'm gonna press T. B. Shift. B. Caps like B. G. H. I. B B A L L E R one three S N Rocks. But you guys saw in the output it was printing everything except shift came up as a zero. Like that. Why am I pointing that way? You guys don't see it there. And control or caps lock, sorry, caps lock came out as a complete blank. Why? Well, because they aren't real characters they aren't letters they're just control keys okay shift does have an ASCII value somewhere I don't know it go Wikipedia like I said or caps lock caps lock doesn't even have a number that I know of actually I know it's in there I know you can access it but I don't know how and honestly I don't know why it's showing up blank but Maybe that's because it actually is just a key being pressed, but it doesn't really send any data except that a key has been pressed. That really might just depend on Roblox there. But as you can see, it worked. So that's really all I have for this tutorial. We'll go more in depth than this as the, in the tutorials to come. But for the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.